I'm going to change mine. Maybe they're on up on the south side of the, you know, but they're still famous people. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Hey, folks, welcome back to the Trailer Park Show. We are our summer house <laughs> at, the, at the summer house over here. We're, we're trying to figure out exactly what's being said on, on the logos on there. I have an idea as to what one of them says, but I can't say that here because, you know, this, later is, on this is a family entertainment uh, place. So later on tonight, nice. after we talk about pot, we'll be able to eat it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, welcome, welcome back uh, to the show. We, we've got our, our usual uh, crew of, of uh, misfits on, on, the, on the show. We've got Michael Cargill from Central Texas Gunworks. Across from me, we have James Ritter, uh, the, the man with the plan over here, or otherwise known as Pokey. And, of course, we, we've got our two guests. Uh, we've got Richard Plank Franklin. And, and, I, and I apologize if I, if I say these, the, the names incorrectly. Um, I'm just a little slow today. And, and of course, we've got Dave Thomas. So... Uh, we're, David Thomas, that sounds like some kind of a uh, talk show guy or something, like right? A, it sounds like a Wendy's guy. Wendy's guy. Yeah, there it is. I, I, knew, I, was gonna, not, I knew I was going to hear that. Not that I was going to hear that. I love Wendy's. I just now and it, was, it out. and it goes perfect with pot. <laughs> hey, what can we say? It goes perfect with pot. Uh, <laughs> it certainly does. <laughs> yeah, both of them have been on the show before. Richard Franklin, of course, has been very active in the community. And he's a Democrat, so you know. <laughs> he's, <a> <laughs> <laughs> he's been plenty active, too. Oh, gee. But what the hell, you know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, go ahead and uh, tell us something about yourself. Let's start with what I'm you uh, doing there, like two, three well, minutes. Yeah, I, I need to take you less time than that. I, I'm, I used to be president of Blackhawks, the Democrats, by the way. Um, I like the way half of them was white. Yeah. Mm. It's, it's, oh, yeah. It's, it's interesting. Yeah, interesting, wasn't it? Um, That's unity. <laughs> well, there you go. Still are, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah they yeah. were last year. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm a former. Uh, a former no, hold on, I couldn't get over there. So we're at the parade, and the black house and Democrats come down. They was all white. Mm, not one black person. <laughs> yeah, I was like, what the hell is that? I think there were a couple. Was this? The June I think there were a couple. Last year. Not last oh, really? year, it wasn't. Love, love, it wasn't. Love, I got pictures love, of it. No, love, love, not love, one. No kidding. None. Wow. Not a zero zero. I'm sure they had some somewhere, but they weren't carrying the banner and all that, you know. Oh, wow. I, I see. I see now. They had the white boys carrying their stuff for them. Oh yeah, we had turn turn tables. <laughs> well, there was. Yeah. <laughs> Well, the, it was Flintstones. They were peddling underneath. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Already. <laughs> Sorry, wow. I had to <laughs> <laughs> Way Already. to start. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Uh, no. you've been active in neighborhoods all Well, I, yeah, I do a whole bunch of stuff in my neighborhood. And I, I'm, I'm more proud of the stuff I do in my neighborhood than I am actually do all the other stuff I do. But I actually run a program called Youth Unlimited, which is a group motivational program for young, young people. Both, I have both young women and young men in my program now. And it has had, has had a profound effect on the way kids look at their education and their futures. Um, we kind of have helped them define their success and how they can get there for, through a, a, the proper education. And uh, it's been really, really helpful. I also do a thing called movie night in my neighborhood. And if you guys ever want to see something phenomenal, see a whole community come together and watch movies in the park uh, on Saturday night, we do hot do free hot dogs, free snow cones and popcorn. Mm. And it's the whole the community just falls out. It's, it's amazing. Um, I'm it's trying to remember the name of your neighborhood out there. Austin's, Austin's uh, Colony. Austin's Colony out there, yeah. short of Weatherville. Yeah, it is amazing. I mean, this it's probably the most fun you could ever have. Just to see all those kids out there and all the and parents coming out there and so forth. I yeah. all love you built everything. What are you talking about? <laughs> I all love them everywhere in my dump truck. Come on out. Colony Come on, get a, a cookie hot dog. Mm. We have it this Saturday. As soon as the sun goes down, we show we show movies this week. We're gonna do Frozen. I really have transportation problems now. Right. I went to see town every night. day. So <laughs> anyway, I know that's good work you're doing out there because I've heard about it. Yeah, well, I enjoy it. It's, I mean, it's just amazing. The kids just love it. Is there a page to go to for youth, uh, youth Unlimited? Youth, youth Unlimited. Youth Unlimited. Okay. Is there something on Facebook where we can? Uh, you know, I don't have a Facebook page for that. I should probably start one. In fact, I'll, and now you said that, I will. There you go. And link it I'm, your I'm a motivator. Yeah. There you go. Not, on, not only am I uh, an activist, but I'm a motivator now. There you go. Hey, <laughs> I'm truly motivated. Thank you very much. Yeah, go ahead, David. I, go ahead. I never thought about that. Uh, I'm David Thomas. Uh, I'm a photographer. Used to be, uh, for 25 years, I worked for the feds. For the who? For the federal government. What the hell did you do for them? Uh, Maybe I shouldn't ask. The, well, the last 12 years I was a, uh, a project manager putting together RIT staff and other agencies, IT, and, and private sector folks to come up with electronic uh, products that we could search. Uh, but now I'm retired. And I'm enjoying it, and I'm a photographer. I'm the president of my neighborhood association, Blackshear Prospect Hill, um, and I'm an activist. I wish Jimmy was here because you probably had problems. 
Implication? <laughs> yeah. yeah. No. Did, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Gavino says it. Uh, what's that? The word he used? Not gentrification. Another yeah. one. Uh, That's what he calls it. No, wiping out people. Genocide. Yeah, oh. it's a genocide. Mm. It's a very old gone. That's all well, you know, that's that's marketplace. Everybody wants to live on each side now. You yes. got a real nice place out there, really. I thought. I've only been there once, I think, when you had the tour of some kind of art tour. Yeah. Yeah, I was I was part of that one year. Uh, in the uh, in our backyard we had a we had a tent back there. It's okay. It's we, we uh, have two houses on one lot so that and which we were looking for so that we could be in close to the city and afford it. That yeah, helps us so that. that's the way it happens. I, I, you know, me and me and Camino talk about that gentrification and all. It happens. I mean, it was the least expensive place. I mean, we looked all over the city, and yeah. it was the area, the east side, was the least expensive place we could buy seven years ago. That's not necessarily the case Still anymore. anymore. Of, uh, <laughs> yeah, now it's it's really gotten bad. So, uh, what else was it now? Uh, your neighborhood association president. Yep. Yeah. Keep you busy, what? A little bit. Uh, as part of that, I'm also uh, a board member of the uh, organization of Central East Austin Neighborhoods, which is the uh, neighborhood planning contact team for six different neighborhoods on the east side, Central East. Well, I know you stay busy with your photography stuff because I see pictures of you with all the, uh, <coughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> All the good folks. Uh, <laughs> All the good folks. There you go. There you go. Some pretty uh, big movers and shakers. I've seen you with the, what's her name, the uh, DNC chair? Uh, yep. What, what was your name? Uh, oh, uh, by Debbie Wasserman Debbie, Schultz. Debbie, yeah. And Debbie Weidman Schultz or whatever her name is. Pelosi, I've got pictures. Wendy Davis. Oh, Wendy Davis, anybody can get a picture with her, I guess. But oh, she's, she's out I, about. I'm not going to say anything about that. I would not. Really. No, I don't that. mean that way. <laughs> She's at the point where a photo officer... Kind of like a doorknob type thing. Yeah, everybody's got it. Yeah, I mean, they, they, I even got me a picture with Lord Doggy. I'm not sure I want to be part of this conversation. Uh, <laughs> no, that's a good picture. I might have to go. No, it's a good one. <laughs> uh, my wife is out there with uh, Ted Cruz. So, you know, when you're a politician, you got to do these things. So it's not like you cut the windy or anything. Do you? When you're a politician, do you have uh, to do those things? Uh, huh? He just had to mention Lloyd Doggett. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Lloyd Doggett used to be his show like on time. Lloyd Doggett doesn't like me very much. Okay. Can't imagine why. <laughs> I wonder why, yeah. We were out at the VA opening, okay? So, you know, everybody's sitting down, sitting down. So I stand up to take pictures. And every time I stood up to take a picture, up there on that stage was Lloyd Doggett glaring at me. I got him on my phone. I had the pictures on my phone. Every time I stood up, his head would rip around. And he'd glare at me. That's because he thought you were going to pull an Alex maybe, Jones Maybe he wanted, maybe he wanted a, to smile for you. Maybe no, he was smiling. No, 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 He probably remembers you from the tea party time when we ran him off from the Randalls down there. Oh, I got a big hug from him down across from the courthouse one time. You know? Yeah. <laughs> well, I had felt the aura of Lloyd Doggett. He just didn't like it because I challenged him like when he used like, the TV show to do his commercials mm -hmm. uh, against uh, the, uh, Dr. Laura. And he used snippets, and so I told him, look, why don't you just play the whole, the whole thing so that everybody can see exactly what was said. <laughs> Not just these little bits and pieces that you want to put on your commercial to make you look good. Sorry, Lloyd. You know, we all <laughs> know. It's just the way it is, Well, They okay. do that kind of way. And for those people that, well, as, 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 she's, as she's preparing to show the picture. Here I am. Um, I stand up, and there he is. <laughs> <laughs> a, couple, a, couple of thing, a couple of things we want to let everybody know. We're, we're missing um, some stuff here. We've invited some people to, uh, to an events page that we have. Uh, so oh, that people can so, can uh, so post comments uh, about some of the stuff that we've had on there. The phones are, are acting up a little bit right pictures. now, so it, it was yeah, best so to, was, to go through the so, uh, events page so, so people can make comments. So if there's something that they want to um, add that into the conversation, they're more than welcome to put it on there as he well. There, uh, in addition, well, I'm, I'm showing him every time. He's trying to explain something, Mo. In addition. If you want to message me, you can message me about any comments or any questions that you want to keep on, on a personal level, uh, and then we can bring them out here on the group as, as we have our, um, as we're posting stuff onto the events page so people can uh, can uh, participate from from their uh, computer. What's the nice events page? Um, people were invited on there. It's going to be uh, it's, it's actually one of those uh, unique number ones. We didn't put a, a name on there, but if you go to um, Michael Cargill's or, or even. Uh, uh, Pokey's uh, page, they have the events, and you'll be able to see that, that we're going to the Trailer Park show for uh, May 19th, 2014. 
So if anybody wants to post a question, then we'll we, uh, we've we had some unique questions. I'll tell you that much. Yeah, um, especially the subject sometimes on the show. Can you, you know, and very seldom do we talk about pot. <laughs> My favorite one was we had a whole uh, government class in here from ACC one time. Remember that? A whole government class. What are you going to talk about? Pot. Can't imagine why. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I have good reason to talk about pot. Okay, well, I can't wait. <laughs> well, we have we, we posted on on Facebook. Or on medicinal pot, and you should know about that one being a cancer patient as well. Mm, you can smoke well. that well, with your throat. Well, here's a good question. Well, you can you can take it. it. You, you can eat it. The yeah. tablet forms. Um, there's also the ones where you can last brownies, night cookies. She had yeah. with her cancer was when my ex brother-in-law. Brought something up and made a big pot of spaghetti. And my mother was herself for one night. And it, she was her old self for yeah, one night. We had a great time. Yeah, uh, nice spice spaghetti sauce. Or, oregano-ish. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And yeah. anyways, nobody really knew what it was, but after we ate it, Pokey and I were like, mm. I, I imagine it would have a different, a, a distinct flavor. Not no. necessarily. Uh -uh. Yeah, it depends on how you fix it. I yeah. mean, how you grind is, is it, it up. Is it kind of like, like tofu? No. No, it, no. it absorbs the flavor of, of everything well, else. Right. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> I've never tried it, so I'm I'm, the, I'm, I'm one of those few exceptions that, that you know I, I, I can safely say I didn't inhale. I made me lose my train of thought. Oh yeah, we've had uh, one of your friends on here, Representative Neistat. Okay. He's I've also been. Good man. He's a big advocate for uh, legalizing. Still there. He puts Workman's, it in every year. Yeah, Paul so the, Workman was here too, and he's not. And I have to decide with Paul. If looking at California. You really want these pot stores on, on every corner? Well, we have. Well, I guess the big part is, is this: it, it, there, is, there is a big transition that's going on uh, from what used to be a, a federal, which is still a federal no-no, about the use of, of, of yeah. pot or, or the distribution of it. Uh, we now have are seeing a, a massive transition where people are now wanting to say, "Hey, you know, let's go ahead and be a little bit lenient because there's been some people that have been that are spending." One, a lot of time in jail for it. They're being, mm -hmm. they're, they're, uh, we've got some other ones whose families have been wrecked because of mm -hmm. it. Although you can say that because, because of marijuana. Of, well, because the families are in jail, because you got family oh, members, because of, because of the whole separation. Although I you see. can you can use the same argument with other other legal Alcohol activities, and um, gambling and yeah, exactly, yeah, whatever. exactly. Fifty four point three percent of all drug arrests in Texas were for marijuana possession only. How much? That's Fifty-four point. No, no, how much? How much of a position? Yeah, I mean, what, are, what are we I'm looking at? Are we, look, are we looking at a doobie? Are we looking at a baggie? It depends on where you are. Well, there's a guy. Yeah. There's a guy right now up in Round Rock who uh, uh, is facing five years to life for some marijuana brownies. Mm -hmm. uh, and what they do? Now, there's, hold on. That's there's more that, to that story than that. What did what, he do with those brownies? He was selling them. Yeah, but it wasn't. But it wasn't. It wasn't Tell pot. Who. It wasn't pot, was it? It was something else. A little bit. I thought it was, it was pot. pot. It was pot. And the thing is, is that one, mm -hmm. of, one of the reasons that they're looking at such a long uh, uh, sentence is because instead of figuring out how much actual pot yeah, was in there, they brownies. weighed out the whole thing. The whole so you got a brownie that weighs a half a pound. <laughs> Plus, he probably you didn't know. have a food license. Well, <laughs> Yeah, I, I bet you that's what got him I don't, think, I don't think that got him a life <laughs> sentence. Well, and I don't think that's he's going to get it. I really don't think he's going to get it. It's Williamson County. It's Williamson County. That's the most conservative county in, in the state of Texas. Every single uh, arrest, processing, and incarceration costs $10,000. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's over a billion dollars a year spent on putting people in jail for pot, merely for possession. You know, I understand well, if you got a ton of this stuff yeah. and you're, you're trying to put it out there. But I don't understand that either. You got 21 states and the District of Columbia now. It's not just California. I don't know, Colorado, what? Uh, Rhode Island, Vermont, Oregon, New Mexico, New Jersey, Hawaii, Illinois, Maine, Maryland, Massachusetts, Michigan, Montana, Nevada, New Hampshire, Connecticut, Colorado, California, Arizona, and Alaska. And all of those have storefronts? No, 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 they no, have, no, they've no, reduced, no. They've no. reduced the... Uh, California has storefronts, and now Colorado, Colorado has storefronts. Colorado has storefronts. Michigan has some. What they've got, I mean, what they, and what they allow in these places is various things. Not everybody allows the same stuff. So, like, Alaska is you, get, you can have uh, one ounce of usable weed mm -hmm. uh, and six I mean, plants. You just throw the plants in the back. And well, and, they, and, and they're, they're allowing six, up to six plants. Three mature plant, plants and three that are, are just coming up. Is that 
Uh, Ar Arizona. Alaska. Arizona allows a little <laughs> bit more, you know, for the, the usable stuff, but they also allow plants. And Colorado is looking at, I don't have this here, uh, they're looking at $68 million in, in tax, tax revenue. revenue. By well, I think they may have been hoping for that. They're, they're right? hoping. No, they're, they're, well, that's it's a projection. projection. However, what we've seen so far, uh, according to what they're producing, what they're saying right now, is anywhere between three and four. And that's with with licensing. They've already hit three or four. Three or four oh, million. Yeah. Only three or four million, million. Million. Per, per month. Per month. And this is per month. This is oh, actually per month. This okay. is per month. This is this is based oh, so on. You do four. You do four yeah, per month. This, 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 this is the state of Colorado. Annual license forty eight million dollars. I'm sorry. If you do four a month, that's forty eight million dollars a year. True, but, you, but it's, and it's not bad money. Every, and, the first 40, and the first forty million dollars, at least in Colorado, the first forty million dollars in tax money goes to the schools. But remember, you also are not spending that money on incarcerating people. That's right. So there's also a splash effect of that. You got the savings from mm -hmm. not putting people in jail, right. large, who are largely African American or Hispanic. Right. Uh, so you're, you're you're not putting people in jail. You're not spending the money yeah, there, yeah, and you're getting tax money, and you make it harder. For kids to get it, than it than when it's well, illegal. He, he, you don't have the, the you don't have the cartels involved in it. It's all legal, like like alcohol. Mm -hmm. Well, here, here's some here's some concerns that come up in this whole thing, and, and I think this is these are some valid questions that need to be answered or need to be brought up. One, we're talking about how many people, the percentage of people that are, that are incarcerated because of drugs. We don't know one. We don't know the quantity as to what it's going to be, as to what they were what they were in for. To just to say, yeah, we got we can justify them being in here. Was it because it was it was, it was uh, seeds? Because it was, or whatever the case may be, um, if we if we can see the the, I guess if we if we can kind of visualize, okay, yeah, the the reason why they did this is because at a minimum they had they had this much on them, then we can kind of get but an idea as to where the, where the issue is. At. As I was talking about the critical thinking before, first of all, we're not talking about the genesis of the problem in in, in, in and of itself. We're not talking about why it was made illegal initially. This is a plant; mm -hmm. it grows wild. By the right. way. So if you had something that's growing wild and suddenly you made it illegal to have something that grows wild in, 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 in the universe, why would you do that? We had to understand why marijuana was made illegal. Now you're looking at these drug companies and saying, well, we don't... It was a business decision. It was a business decision. Yeah. Yeah, it was, it was because, because someone wanted to prohibit that so they can, you know, benefit another way in their business. That's why. That's, right. that's what I'm saying. We so are, we, we, Which was between the, the use of hemp and cotton, right? Right. So okay, so we and so paper. And paper. Understand Which that is not a reason to throw people in jail if you if you Hirsch owned a paper company or if he owned a paper company and he didn't want help in, in influencing that process. So he took help out of the process right. and, and marijuana went with it. Right. And that was initially what happened. So what we're actually looking at is big business did this to, to us in the first place. Okay. Otherwise we'd be sitting around smoking dope all day long and no one care. <laughs> It'd be no no worse than having a drink. In fact, it's the it's it, it, it actually less than crash. Than it's than better than I mean it, it doesn't harm you. There's nobody has ever died. Uh, from from the use of marijuana. marijuana. Right. Nobody, you don't, you We've can't overdose. We've got three deaths in Colorado. No, that's not true. There, that's, there was no, a, that was a false, that was a the one false. That, the one that, one that chopped off his wanker. Uh, and, and fell off the building. <laughs> because because no. they, they ate on. it. Yeah. Because they ate the, the plant. No. They ate that's whatever there was. That's whatever, just, the edible. That's just not true. No. Uh, that was the report. That was the report. I got one. I do know deaths from marijuana. The train engineer was operating Conrail. And he ran through a red block. And sure, you're, you shouldn't drive under the influence. The same as you shouldn't <laughs> drive under the influence. No, I'm talking I'm about saying well, no, marijuana calls that red. I'm going to go back and look at that. Nobody, yeah, nobody I'm, I'm, I'm a former train dispatcher, guys. I'm going to just let you know yeah, something. I want to go back and ask about, about, about that all day because you have to be able to press, nobody, you have to be able to press a dead man switch on a, on, as an engineer. No, non rail, he ran through a red block. You have to be, I, 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 red block, I, I got that. But you also have to be cognizant enough, enough to, to press the dead man switch over and over again. So he was cognizant enough to run a train. They were partying hard <laughs> No, no, no. I, I, I had even question that one. Well, one of your people that you used to work with did the same thing and plowed into somebody up in North Austin and killed them. Yeah, that's true. So that's another marijuana yeah. death right in well, town. Well, the, the say whether it's legal or not, people people might do that. Just like with alcohol, people do that. If it's legal, they're going to be doing it a lot more often. Thousands of people are killed every year because of people getting behind the wheel when they're drunk. Mm -hmm. So if how you, are we going to stop this? If you, Maybe we if, should look at why well, people have to get stoned all the time. Well, that's a different story. Well, no, I, that's I, another I, program. I think, I think the actual the actual that's discussion a whole, other, that's a whole other program. program. I think the actual discussion is this: we, we know that there that there's a history behind it as to why it was mm -hmm. why it became illegal. We understand that part. Is it wrong? Yeah, you can say it's wrong. There, there was a wrong so reason why Washington they did that. Did it, didn't he? 
Yeah. <laughs> the family father used to get talked to. That's why he was in the church. Thomas Jefferson, it was one of his main things. But but we have in place now a set of parameters that says you can't do it at a federal. The federal government says no. The states are saying yes. And of course, you have a dispute between the federal uh, states' rights and, and, and federal rights. We know we, we now know. I mean, we know the history behind this mm. and how that's done. Right. We know we know the, the, the pros and cons of, of, of the use of it. We know that. I mean, we can dispute why it's good and why it's bad. You know, we can talk about GMOs if you want to even go that go yeah. that route when when you're modifying the, the plant. Okay, but the reality of the, situ the situation is, how do we get this to the point where we say, okay, the states believe in this, the federal government believes in this. We've got to come into a cohesive unity and be able to say, okay, is it going to be good? Is it going to be bad? Or is the federal government going to say, okay, we're going to back off and let you guys decide? Alcohol prohibition, same thing. Same thing. It was when the states, it's, it's happening the, what, with marijuana right now, the way it happened with pro alcohol prohibition. Mm -hmm. The states started saying, well, we're just, we're not going to, we're not going to, uh, Prosecute. We're, right. we're, you know, and as as let's more and more states started to accept of that, it, let's go right. slightly and different. And how big of a political issue do you think this will be in fourteen and sixteen? Fourteen, I don't think it's going to be very big. It won't be nothing. It won't be nothing here. No, sixteen maybe. Sixteen maybe, and that'll be because of the of the fifteen on the, the federal federal 15. side or state side. Both. 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 Well, well, Rick, the Rick Perry said we ought to get high. I don't know about y'all. Rick Perry said. <laughs> Rick the boy. The, the reason why he's saying that is because he's trying to cater. He's trying to. Be, he wants to become president. And he's on his way out. He's on his, he's on his way out, and he wants to become president. Suddenly, he wants to get toked up too. I don't think he's going to make it. I don't either. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the state side, there's going to be three. Hopefully, there's going to be three bills besides Nastat. Nastat's going to put his bill in like he always does, uh, which which allows which allows doctors to be able to say whether or not they think, you know, marijuana will help you. Mm -hmm. Which is kind okay. of a weak bill, though. It's a very weak bill. So they but it's, 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 nothing else has gone through. Mm -hmm. So, but there's, there's, uh, there's finally a, uh, a lobbyist now uh, that's been hired to work in the state from the Marijuana Policy Project, uh, working with law enforcement against prohibition, Republicans against marijuana prohibition. All of these folks are coming together. It's not, as you said in the, in your little blurb there, it's all not Democrats and liberals. This is no, this is, know, this is, this is a nonpartisan issue. And, and libertarians no. all have been pushing for it for years, yeah. a long time. And so there's True. there's there should be three bills come up in in the legislature in fifteen. One is one is for decriminalization. Mm -hmm. uh, which which also that. well it would well, certainly a lot of keep people out of jail. A lot of counties are doing that already. Right. Uh, but it would it, it'll certainly keep people out of jail mm -hmm. if if that happens. You see the Medical marijuana. Go ahead. Medical marijuana uh, will be one, legalizing medical marijuana, and which I could really talk about. <laughs> They'll all be lying to me. <laughs> and, and then full legalization like Colorado and, and Washington. All right, all right, stop just a minute. All That's what kinda, I had to ask. When all Colorado did elements. this here, it was like 7 o'clock in the morning, and they all lined up out there saying, don't these people have jobs? Uh, uh, and you see states having and, we go, and we're going to the work high today. <laughs> Hallelujah. But see, how do you, I didn't how stop do you by Starbucks. I didn't get stopped yeah. by Starbucks and get my caffeine. I'm going to get me get my toke on. How do you how do you handle that? So <laughs> if you work for a company, like say you're a truck driver and it does get to the point where it's legalized. You know, how do you handle that if you can't have it while you're dry? You know, you, yeah. how do you test for that? You can test for it. So how do you no, say, uh, well, you can so test you for it. How do you say, well, I don't have enough in my system to affect me while I'm driving, like alcohol? Well, well and, it's and either way is wrong, right? I mean, you, yeah. you, if, if, you, if you're driving a truck and they've got any kind I of... Drink, well, I drank last night or I drank two nights ago and I'm fine today, two nights ago. I smoked two days ago. Oh, it's still going to be in your system. Exactly. Yeah, so how do you tell, how do you tell that, yeah. well, I smoked some two days ago and that's not affecting me today. There's the liability know, that, is some, that is something that, that, I mean, there's a lot of things like that, that, that Colorado, I think for one, maybe Washington state at this point well, we are agree. going to well, come get this? through, you know, <laughs> <laughs> he did it. He did inhale. Yeah, he did. Uh, <laughs> I, 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 I got it quickly here. Uh, <laughs> since I know about this driving stuff, and including uh, people that smoke it and have wrecks, uh, not me, but uh, I used to hire drivers. Uh, by the law, I hire this driver. He takes a dope test. He's clean. He goes out and gets in my truck, smokes it, smells it, injects it, whatever. Goes out and gets the catastrophic. I still get sued. Mm -hmm. I did everything. 
required by law. If, if, if he did the same thing and you tested him and he, he didn't have too much alcohol in his system and he went out in the cab, and the only thing different was it wouldn't smell as the same. But but the result would be just as bad as, as yeah, uh, if you got an accident. <laughs> you know, so, if, so you, if you legalize it to that extent and you make, you make it as difficult to get uh, and you, you put an age limit on it, whether it be 18 or 21, I would suggest 18 since you, well, 21 if you want to because that's what you have to be to, to drink alcohol. Mm -hmm. uh, we you got know, a half we go to guns. Put well, those we'll, same things in there. I want to just... Not <laughs> guns. Go ahead. Because I want to ask so you a question much. about any other states that you know of will be passing this year. Uh, uh, how I, do you see it on a national level, other states? I don't have that here. Okay. I didn't print it out. Uh, real, there are, there are some where it's in the pipeline. And, and once it gets past 25 states, mm -hmm. then the, the, the fed, federal law is going to change. And it could change before then. I mean, the administration could say, we're, we're just not, we're, we're, the biggest thing, the biggest problem is it's, it's, it's a Schedule I drug. It is the same as heroin. Which is absolutely ridiculous. Right. It's totally screwed up. You know, they put it in the same, and, and that's why it's... Would it, would it be because it's been modified so much? No. no. It's been enhanced no. so much? I mean, like, for example... It's you always mean, been a Schedule it's, 1 drug. But, but it it's has. because of the capability for it, for it to, to do that. I mean, like, no. for example, like, I, my, I, was, I was... If you uh, get that high on marijuana, you're not even getting in a car. You're not, you're I, not driving. I, I've, I've known people that You're going to sleep. you got to not yeah. smoke for well, a while. If, if you're that high, I'm guaranteeing you're going to sleep. I, That's I, not I happening. Can, I, can, I can tell you that there's been some people that have. I, I know some people. I had a landlord that did that. And, and, and yeah, yeah, I had it's, my... It's, I, as I, bad, it's as bad to drink alcohol and drive as it is to smoke marijuana and drive. I mean, it's all worse. of those things, you yeah, know, are... are worse, that's the, the reason that it's a schedule, I think so, too, and it's worse health worse yeah. health-wise. Alcohol, you can die from too, having too much alcohol. You can't I die from having too much. Uh, it, it's Taking smoking to your lungs can't be good either. No. <laughs> well, no. But, oh, I take that back. I have a doctor. Uh -oh. California doctor. I mean, I, I'm going to mention two things. Okay. Okay. Well, you got about One, three or four minutes. I can do that. Guns. I can do that. It's also good topically. Mm -hmm. I suffer from uh, uh, psoriasis. And it just, it just, it's ugly. I mean, I, I, I hated going out, and I tr used all the, the medications that my, my dermatologist, you know, gave to me, and, you know, nothing worked. Some coconut oil with, infused with marijuana, not a whole lot of it, rubbed that on as a balm, and while you can still see stuff, it's so much better than it was. This is real. Actually, they're doing, is, they're doing tests on it right now for the oil out of marijuana that actually is affecting cancer. That's right. right. So there are so many there, you know, and, and that's purpose. one of the reasons why they made it a Schedule One drug, is because they said there's no medical use for it. Well, that's just not true anymore. I mean, it never was true. It's just that now there's actually scientific there's scientific. And, and I'm looking at anything that can d that deals with cancer right now. I'm all over it. Right. Because yeah, having been through what I've and, been through, and, I need to you. And, 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 and I can say this: I, I know from a person from person. I'll, by myself, my, by myself personally, but I know of people that have used it to help them out with daily functions. I, I, I can I can say that it, that there is some, there is some work to it. There is some work with that, or it does work. However, when it comes to the when it comes to the regulation and the use of how it's going to be, how it's going to be used. Where is where is the state of Texas when it comes to or when it comes to to the laws that they want to pass mm. to go ahead and say, okay, we're going to be able to say this is how we're going to want to use it, and that's it. Because like, we'll, we'll go to California. We'll use California. We'll use um, New Mexico as examples. You know, you, somebody goes in. I, I know people that have done this in California. They go into California and they say, hey, my back hurts. Mm -hmm. Boom, right there. They're, they, they got it. Mm -hmm. You know? I, I can go in there and say my back hurts, and it's because I'm overweight. But doctors today can give you uh, the uh, prescriptions for, I know, but they also give prescriptions for OxyContin, which does kill right. you. Right. They, it's the same kind of thing. There's going to be bad doctors and good okay. doctors. Would, but uh, here's Richard something to, to get. I got to let Richard. Well, would you get behind the wheel on, you, on, on any drug that, do, that the doctor gives you for, for yeah. whatever pain you've gone in and said mm -hmm. you had an ailment for? So I mean, at some point in time, we got to realize it has to be. It has anything that can be controlled can also be overused. Right. So but when it comes I mean, that, to that, something that has that has been considered as taboo as, as it has been for such a long time. But why? Only because for people, only for sixty years. Well, because people thought it was so bad. 
Right. But, but it's how we how we got around to that. Is the, my issue right now is got, no one ever went back and asked that question. But it's bad though. It's that. bad for you. Why? No? <laughs> Why? I don't know. It's just That's bad. It. <laughs> and, 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 bad. And what has the war on just drugs bad, done okay. to Yeah, how many lives have been destroyed better? behind something that 70 years ago wasn't a problem that the founding fathers all used? How about that? Over 6,000 years, this drug has been used medicinally. And one of the biggest studies I got against the, the drug war is the way it's turned our police into a for-profit. Yes. The, the prisons uh, the are for-profit. The laws are just like... Making money from parents. We have, and have, we have a generation still of people that still control the power of the vote. Right. Okay. And those are those are the individuals that are going to be saying yay or nay. Doesn't uh, we can have we can have people that are uh, 20 years younger than me. My daughter's 18. She's now eligible to vote. Okay. What's what's the probability of of, of a generation of hers going out there to vote right now or in November to say okay are we going to go ahead and do this? Yeah, but they won't even but put it on the ballot. Do but they, they don't put it on the ballot. If, if 75% of the country they, is always saying they we're they doing it, they but they won't put it on the ballot. They can't in Texas. In Texas, like a, a few other states, it can't go on a ballot. Mm -hmm. Like a lot of these states, they were on ballots. Some of them, though, they had to go to the legislature, which is what has to happen in Texas. Yeah. So, then so, the, the, so, so the, 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 the legislators have to grow a set if right. they really believe it. And there's a lot of legislators that know this and who, stuff. And, and, and we go back to the original we go back to the original idea. The people that are of my generation and older, or older than me, are the ones that, that control a certain functions. If I could, I would. <laughs> I'm older than you are. <laughs> but when it, when, it comes, when it comes to the power of the vote, they also have the power of the, of the, of the, of the purse. Of yep. the purse. Yeah. How are we going to get these 18-year-olds to come in and, and make these massive phone calls in a, in a, in a sensible and logical way? Because we've seen how some of the kids have acted, where they go in and call call the, the, the legislator and say, "Hey, by the way, we need to, we need." But to I see you, you're saying 18 years old. But I'm I'm, looking, I'm 58. I'm, I'm using Everybody I know is my age has smoked dope. I'm, six, yeah, I'm 68. So it's it's not. It, it's a I never smoked people. dope. I never smoked dope. Huh? Well, this this well, works like, this works out. So out of five tweeters. people here, out of five people here, <laughs> three of us have. Yeah. And the average the. And the, I the at 38, 30, so did a I. A long time. <laughs> 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 and hold it. Hold it. 38%, hold it. 38 percent of Americans have, have smoked marijuana. <laughs> yeah, one out of three. That's, that's. I had to do that in order Bill Clinton, you know. I <laughs> yeah, I never, I never, know, I never believe that. But it goes to that whole concept. You, you, how do What's you have the individuals that are going to be, that are, that I are going I to have the power of the, of the yeah, body and the power right. of the purse yeah. to be able to go to the legislators and say, hey, by the way, maybe we should consider this. Well, people have to vote. People have to vote. People have to vote. And, 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 and Texas is one of the worst voting states in, in the country. So and I don't know. I mean, I, I'm doing my job to get <laughs> to get my side and out. That, that's the, that, you know, that has to, to vote. be the, the big question that comes out there. Because if we're going to want the legislators to, to do what they have to do, to do what's right. Because believe me, I, I, I can see the use of medicinal marijuana, but I, I, but I can also see the bad side of it when it comes to, to the, 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 the after effects of what happens with it. But you, exactly. but you can't because you can't go back. You, I, I, the amount of people who smoke dope in this country compared to the amount of accidents you had with people on dope compared to the, the alcoholic beverages well, and the yeah. amount of people who've had accident, accidents caused by alcohol so you can't, is no comparison. So how is you have this one dope. thing? It hasn't been able to be, why, why are you can, track it until just recently. Why are you comparing it to alcohol and Why are you comparing it to alcohol and alcohol accidents? Because you have, you have the exact same scenario there that you have here. You had a bunch of people who said, we don't want this to be legal. And they found a reason to make it illegal, and they made it illegal. Then mm -hmm. they started a war, and they had people die over this mess. I mean, literally. And so we're doing the exact same thing now. We got right people yeah, dying over marijuana, and mm -hmm. it's crazy. Yeah. Why? You, and, and and then you jail people behind it, behind something. They turn around and, and say, "Well, let's make a constitutional amendment that says it's okay to have alcohol." They were in possession, not using it. No, no, no. I'm talking about the whole the whole war on mm -hmm. alcohol that this country went through. The prohibition era showed us how ridiculous some of these things really are. Right. People are going to drink anyway. So mm. they're going to go out and get it illegal. And people are going to and, smoke dope. And, and they've been doing it. And we got people that ain't smoked it, so. That 38% have, and so <laughs> let's see, three-fifths of 60%. 60% of the, of the people table, at this table have smoked at this dope. Table. <laughs> we know that 75% of the country overall has smoked dope. They've, right. done the, they've done the numbers. So if you got 75% of the population has done something illegal, you got to ask yourself, why did we make that illegal in the first place? Hmm. Let's change it. Because to get off criminalizing the, behavior, yeah, so that you kill to get off <laughs> to get off of the I, I could I do that, I could gun, you know? I could do this for a long time because it's <laughs> I'm serious it it it's, it saves money and it right. can make money 
You know, and, and save lives. Yeah, absolutely. It's just it, it, both medically and because they're it, not thrown in jail. It's just a matter of so being it's able good, to. It's good because it can save lives. And it it's can good make, medically. And it can make money. We can have this, we can have this talk mm -hmm. uh, after this. I'd be glad to sit down <laughs> with sure anybody. Find out about, about the oil you know, itself and, 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 and its effect on yeah. cancer. And, and you just, uh, you oh, I, by the, the way, I agree with you. I agree with you 100%. And I don't, it's not something that I do. It's not something that I, I will do. I don't, you know, I don't mind. get into smoking weed and all that kind of stuff. You know, but, not now. You know, I'm, so I'm all, huh? Not now. I'm no, yeah, I've no never. Legal, I was, never. I believe it. And I, and I, but I think I a person should have that right, you know, to do that. I do too. And it really is. I mean, it's a nonpartisan It's a nonpartisan issue. And in some ways, when you put the I money also, into for it, me, for me, I and the don't drink it's, very it's, much. It's, it's, it's a, a conservative issue, issue right. in fact. You know. For me, I, I've seen I've seen the positive sides and I've seen the, the negative sides of what happens when somebody uses smoke pot. Now, like our district okay. attorney, I do get gussed up. You drink, and I don't. I drink. But I, <laughs> See, I do drink. Now. Have a drink a get, month. I want I want to get this one thing in because it it get past the getting high, you know, and and what that can cause uh, because you're high. Uh, which is not much if you do it in your own home um, or out in the field. Hemp, 100% of a $550 million in hemp products mm -hmm. in, that are sold in this country every year all are imported because we can't grow it here. $550 million in products. I'm wearing a hemp shirt and hemp pants. You're not going to smoke it afterwards, are you? Oh, you can't. <laughs> Yeah. You smoke a ton of that. Just <laughs> yeah, bars. it's like 0.3 percent. It's like it's like near beer. You know, not even near beer. You but get that's, cream that's a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, think that's a lot of money to be to be just throwing away to other countries right. when it's not even the same plant. Right. You can't get high smoking yeah, you can't it, get high most but you can get high. I mean, you can certainly and that make goes back clothes. That's the original reason we made it illegal. Right, it you can, you can, businessman, and that's uh, we fought, you can make automobile panels. I mean, you can it's make heavy stuff. In my dump truck, except the steel, can be right. made out of my Exactly. All the liquids, the, the hoses, the yeah. pipes, the tires, everything except the steel in that dump truck can so be made out of my Is there water. is there anything being done here in Texas to try to? I know we yes. got the one bill that's been that's well. Being that's that we got the, the Neistat's going to put in his bill like he always does. Okay. There are three bills that are being talked about. They're going to have to get through committees and it's stuff, but they're going to be they're going to be put out there. One is one is for decriminalization. Mm -hmm. Right. One is for medical uh, marijuana legalizing it, and one is for full legalization. Where, where can they find the, the proposed? There aren't any bills yet. There's nothing. There's, no. there's not, but nothing. Where can they find more information as to what where they want to have these or what's they want to discuss about if they want to support or oh, where they can educate themselves yeah, on, the, on the topic oh we, we had a, we boy, posted a site there's a there's a site normal which okay. is what this button is we also posted the the marijuana uh, policy project that's a good one um, which is uh, mpp.org right that's a good one um, if you go there you can go to state uh, mpp.org uh, slash states slash texas um, so you can see all, all right. the stuff that's going on within the state of Texas for, for more education. Because, I, like I said, I, I, I'm for it. I, I, can see the, I can see the good stuff. I can also see the bad stuff, as, as I've mentioned before. Yeah. But we need to uh, highlight the good stuff that, that can be done and where, where people can get it, more information to try to educate themselves so that hopefully they can use the power of the voter and the power of the purse to and, go ahead and make and it. And the, the, the bottom line consideration, as far as I'm concerned, though, there are a lot more people in Texas who are going to smoke dope. And we start talking about revenue. We, mm. we, we, and we do a sin tax on everything. Mm -hmm. Well, all the people consider this to be a sin, then tax the crap out of it and take all that revenue and do something with it. If, if they're going to make $48 million or $50 million in Colorado, we should oh. probably be doing about $250 million here. Uh, Let's be huge. realistic. It would be huge. And we can do, we can do a lot of mo with good with yeah, that you money. Can't, you can't tax it too much. You didn't go with the black market, but yeah. You well, yeah, you get, there's, there's a fine line there because they're line worried there. about that in Colorado because their tax is pretty high. Yeah, and yeah. There, there's yeah, people yeah. talking about that, that it's going to have to come down a little bit or, or, or they'll force it back into the black market. Uh, yeah, so this can reduce crime. It can reduce right. crime. It can save the state money. Mm -hmm. It can make money for the state. Mm -hmm. It can be used medically for everything up to cancer, they say. Okay, and there's a lot of stuff that isn't true, but I'll tell you what it does, you know, for, for psoriasis. I know a guy who's got uh, multiple multiple sclerosis. You know, yes. Giddy, yes. Been uh, so low. Yeah. You know and, and, and multiple sclerosis will put you down. I mean, you can't really function. Mm -hmm. He can. Uh, he functions well. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's just a lot of, and that information, MP, it's on MPP. It would be on, uh, uh, probably on LEAP, which mm -hmm. is Law Enforcement Against Prohibition. Mm -hmm. 
um, ramp. Uh, Republicans Never against marijuana. I'll have to look for that one. I've been looking. I've been, I just joined normal because I think it's. I think it's important. I don't think I that think exists a lot in of money. Texas. What does ramp? ramp? Yeah, doesn't exist here. Uh, another one is normal. N O R M L. N O R M L dot com. That's, well, that's, that's, a, that's they've been doing this since so. since the seventies. <laughs> Okay. Um, and once you get in there, <laughs> then you start to get all, you start to see all the reports from NIH about, and CDC and other places uh, where they're actually there. finding out, you know, what, what, what good it can do. Mm -hmm. And so all of that is in there, and, and all of those sites will probably show something about, uh, uh, Texas Normal is the best, um, because they'll be up on, uh, on the legislation. Now, with all that, you know, that sounds like, man, the same people that are trying to push for marijuana, um, get this, uh, you know, bring it to light here in Texas, seems like all those people should get behind, you know, the Second Amendment. I, you know, yeah, it you sounds go. like kind of like the same we thing to me. Both right? about it at the same time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, it all sounds like the same thing, you know. It, it saves lives. You know, I'm hearing the exact, you know, same arguments there. You can almost replace, you know, pot, you know, with, you know, firearms or you know, weapons or something like that. Except that what you're talking about in with marijuana is it's illegal totally. You you can own a gun. You can own yeah. almost any kind of gun you want. Uh -huh. Yeah, as long as Republicans are still in power. Well, you know, I, it's not going to change if Democrats are in power. Well, Most no, it hasn't. I, I can tell you, yeah, that's right, it hasn't. Last one tried, uh, you had to boot it up. Is, there's, it's, it's, uh, marijuana, once it's legalized, mm -hmm. will be regulated. What I'm hearing from some firearms are legalized and they're regulated. To an extent. There's so also regulations you, you certainly a, don't want. Well, no, that's, you you that's, you that's, that's why you have the ATF. If you want to see some serious regulations, go down and arm all the little black kids and all the little brown kids right now with, with guns and see them start to regulate it for real. You really want to see the art regulated. Mm -hmm. You know so, what the best crime fighter is? The black woman with a gun. Do you know the I reason? Know. You know where it all yeah. came about? We're Dr. All John Locke, more guns when they, crime. When the Black Panthers put start doing open carry in California, they immediately went back and changed the laws in California. Of course. The liberal state of California. Do you know where it all came so, from in the first place? Back in the 1800s, no guns for Negroes. I, so that the free slaves would not have access to firearms, laws, could not right. purchase or could not have access to firearms. Right. That's where it all came about. I, and that's, I, I know that. So it's all racism in itself. Maybe if we educate the young black boys a little bit, they wouldn't shoot each other and everybody else. You know, right. you know what Maybe. it is? There's an innate fear. I, I, and I'm using this from personal experience also. Okay. Um, there's some people, there's just an innate fear about, about the use of them and what can happen to them. Mm -hmm. um, my daughter's dating a, a young man who's, who's black. And, and uh, we've told him that we, we own guns. My daughter's going to own a gun pretty soon. So I, I got to go stop by uh, your shop, by the way. Um, and, and hopefully pick that up this week. <laughs> but when, when we when we mention it to the, to him, all of a sudden he, he he starts puckering up like you would not believe, and it's like it's not a bad thing, you know. Where you have to come in and educate them and, and tell them, look, there's there's a good reason why you why you use them and why you want to use so it as a form of So should it be an open carry or concealed carry? For what? Oh, guns. Should we do open carry or concealed carry? We we already have concealed carry. I don't see any reason why we can't open carry. I have I have a problem with it. Now, Why? I, Why is it's, that? If I walk up until up until recently with uh, with the folks that are are showing off, because that's what they're doing. You mean open carry. The open the open carry folks. Okay. If this was five years ago, and I walked somewhere like near the Capitol or wherever it was, and five to ten guys were there with 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 rifles. Yeah. I'd get the hell out, and that's what that's scaring people. It intimidates. Them. Well, scares it's me. It's not is on, necessary. It's on 420 when I see a bunch of people lighting up. That scares me too. But yeah. we don't have a problem with that. Yeah. So you know, that that, marijuana that, doesn't kill. Guns are only the only reason to have. People, most it, of the guns you're talking people, about. It kills when people will do whatever they want to to try to get their hands on it to try to get some money the, in the order re, to purchase it. The reason it, guns are made. The reason guns are made is to kill. Defend yourself. To kill. Well, to stop people well, from no, killing no, you. I, I, it's used for defense. I, I use yeah. mine for defense. I don't have a problem with that. Yeah. I, at all. But but so but, but those, but those who want to make it a little bit harder to get, those who want to make right. sure those who want to make sure that when you have when you have I know you a, want to jump in here, Richie. Oh, I'm laughing myself. I think it's hilarious. Because everything is fine until the little black kids 
get guns and do open carry. I'm everybody's gonna be cool have, with it. I'm yeah. telling you, everybody's gonna be good with this <laughs> until you go in the hood and everybody's walking around open carry. And well, then I'm guaranteed you're gonna change well, the you, law. You know what happens in low income housing? They actually have it in the lease. You ever want to ever read a lease in low income housing? You can't have weapons in low income housing. So they purposely prohibit the black community. I know. It's not just black. So why is somebody black community have this in Well, this I know. But that's what it's for. That's what all came about. Nobody going down and said those people should be allowed I understand that. That's, you know, I have no argument. No there. one is fighting to just make sure those people are allowed to but arm we, But we say, you know, this is all about the kids. This is about, you know, protecting our children and stuff like that. We have to right? at the federal level on that part. Why? Section, section if the, section, the Second Amendment covers everybody, Correct. shouldn't it cover people who are in low-income low, low right. areas? It should. It should. So if we're going to do this, should we also make sure that they're well, allowed to have guns? It's, you're right. They, 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 should, they should be allowed on that part. In low-income areas, you're depending on... Of somebody else to provide you with that. We would, there would, there would have to be that's, be, that's, be, that's because the system is set up. So the point. system is set up so that. Say, no, nowhere in the Second Amendment does it say, and by the way, if you if you are in someone's right. house that's subsidized, you can't have a gun. Right. That's not in the Second Amendment anywhere. No, well, so not. if that's not the case, I agree with you. I think why shouldn't they be allowed to have guns? So, so should we? So should we? So should we do what we do with uh, with other laws that we think are are bad, and act in, in a nullification process and allow them to go ahead and carry it at the risk of uh, at, at, at the risk of them being allowed to stay there for example i mean we, we just talked about we just talked about pot mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. and and how states are nullifying federal law mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay we have a federal not really because the federal law is still is still yeah, in effect and in correct. most of but those but places states, you could be elected the states are fighting the states are fighting that process by, by sure. nullification mm -hmm. or being nullification no it's not what but that's well, okay. You can argue, you can argue as, as okay, states' okay. rights. You can start the exercise of, of states' rights, which is yeah, fine. That's a good but you, idea. Okay. So then, it so all then is we, states' rights. Yeah. yeah. So then do we, do we tell the states, okay, we know that you're going to be receiving federal funding from, from, uh, for, these for these housing projects. But we're going to go ahead and put in a rule in there saying that if you're, if, if you're legally author authorized to carry a gun, you can go ahead and still, still do that and, ca and still receive funding from the federal government. Should so, we do that? Should we do that? Uh, well, yeah, absolutely. Okay. So what, I guess the other question would be, why haven't we? Because no one's fighting for the people who need to fight. Kind of the same. Kind of the same. Kind of the same. Same. I fight all the time. As when you asked about marijuana. I fight twenty four seven. Twenty four seven. Okay. So let's go ahead. Let's go to turn this around. I, I bet you there's probably at least one member of city council right now who's watching. Or at least one of the representatives. Your job right now is to go ahead and bring this up because because here's the thing. They they, they although they don't they say they don't, they don't like us. They really do because of the fact that we like to bring up their names. You know. Mm. Well, so Mike Martinez enjoys me. Mike Martinez loves me so much that he well, has. Some of them are running for mayor this time. So That's right. Yes, he has yeah. blocked me off of Facebook. For off sure of his pages. Yeah. Well, they don't they don't really care about safety and kind of, when but it comes to. But if we're going to be talking about helping out helping out the disenfranchised, then then they should be able to go ahead and put in a rule in there within the city. If they're talking about trying to help out with low affordable, uh, with low income housing and, or affordable housing, they should be able to pa put, a, put in a law, a rule in there or a line that says, let's go ahead and still, you can still receive uh, uh, funding from the federal side and, and you can go ahead and carry and, and still follow your constitutional right to, to carry on, to, to uh, carry a weapon. The bottom line is if they really cared about people, then they would focus their attention on abortions and the fact that, that we have 3,322 abortions in this country per day per day. So if you're really concerned about children and those things, they would be standing out in front of the abortion clinics because more people are killed, more mothers kill kids than guns. 3,322 well, I'm I'm per jump on day. The, uh, into the so if you really because, cared about yeah, children, you, you, you'll you just, do something uh, about you abortion. Just, you just went, yeah, we just went in, into abortion. Nah, That's a whole other I, program. Yeah, not going it's a whole yeah, other, we, do we, what we you want. Whole, because I, I, the I, bottom line is 3,322 per day. You can't tell me when life begins. Three, it doesn't matter. Three thousand per day. You can't tell me when life begins. You can't tell me when You're not killing them if life Until hasn't you can tell me when life begins, you can't tell. You can't tell me that they're killing someone. If you the can heart, define the when heart, life begins, the heart's the beating. Heartbeat? When they got a heartbeat, I don't know. Can they live outside you, the womb? No, because the Bible tells me. Have a the Bible tells me weeks. until you can breathe life into someone, it ain't life. Hey, well, you know what? We'll let and God that's decide. And that's twenty-four weeks. They stand before God. Yes, it does. Absolutely, does. 
Yes, yeah. sir. In Genesis, if you go back and read it, you go back. I'll bring up Genesis right now. Genesis says it right now. On the, on, you can bring it up on your phone. 3,522 but you to, uh, abortions you can define per life, that's not a, that's not a that may be abortions. That's not a it might be abortions. Uh, it's not ki necessarily killing anybody. Per right. day. It's not necessarily killing anybody. I didn't anybody. say that. I said 3,322 abortions per day. Okay. okay. In this uh, country, I am not going to argue with that. <laughs> Let's get back into guns. Back to guns. Guns. <laughs> because I, I literally, I, when he, when he said, when he, the first time he said that, I said, well, I'm looking forward to a whole bunch of kids being brought out of, you know, bar, uh, uh, the, the the east side over here. Uh, I got a bunch Boston, of kids at LBJ and, you know, and, and 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 Reagan. I said, I'll march them all down to your down to your store and give everybody a gun. And you guys learn how to shoot hey, a gun. Yeah, you gotta pay for, well, pay for it. I'm just I, I do. I do but, that every weekend. Every weekend, Saturday and Sunday, I have. I give classes yeah. where I have twenty, in fact, thirty. We all be setting up I a have kids sure those young in my classes. To shoot a gun. That's a good that idea. One. That is I like what that I do. Idea. You like that? Yeah, I teach I, them I, how I to do that you. safely every yeah. single weekend. I, I, I can vouch for that. I have. I have. I have videos of my daughter taking one of the classes that he's done. In fact, my daughter's boyfriend is going to be going. I I got permission. Did you hear that? I do it every weekend. I know. I think anybody can do it every weekend. All right. Period. Well, yeah. Should go to well, the class. Not just CHL. Gotta, you gotta, you Everybody got who buys a gun, you gotta go to the class. That's because that's because the black community and the leaders in this community, the Democratic Party, are trying to put them into a nanny state and make them dependent on the government. And that's why they're not going to learn gun safety and learn how to protect themselves they because are. your Democrat Party in Travis you County to wants them to be slaves. To make sure you can override that. Then we have to have we have to empower the parents to say, "I want more." If you, well, if you want to, if you want to be able to if you want to be able to get them to 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 learn more I agree they have to they have to rise up from where they're at right now and then one of the things that they I will have say to have parents to begin with. they're gonna have, well they're gonna have to have parents to begin with and they're gonna, or, or they're gonna have to have up, one parent well single dad you're gonna have to have one parent that's gonna be able to say you're at least a dad yeah but you're gonna, gonna have to have I, I'm talking about parents I'm talking about a parent you're gonna have to have the one parent to be able to say I it's time it's time to to get out of where we're at they may not be able that's to. That's what we're talking about. Michael well, no, we're, talking well, about. Well, no, we're, we're talking about how, you know, we're bringing up the use of guns and, and, and why. And then also, what about the husband? You know, you get somebody pregnant. It's all depending on, you know, the, the woman, the female, to decide whether or not, you know, she can go forward and do whatever. And the man has nothing to do with it. But when it's time to pay that child support, boom, you better be present. Dress right, dress, and pay that child support, right? Hmm. I'm not hearing you. I hear silence. <laughs> yeah. I get child support, so I don't. I, I'm. I'm. I'm cool. <laughs> I'm one of the special people that gets child support from my, from my loving. From my I know a lot of. I know a lot of women that are supposed to get. Or knew a lot of women that were supposed to get child support and didn't. It's not just. It, it, my bottom yeah. line. My bottom line is, hey, you know, you, you I want to do what I want to do in my four corners, and that includes with my firearms and having my farms. You know, keep your hands off my guns, and I'll let you and smoke I as much agree weed as you want to smoke. Completely <laughs> in your four corners. In my Don't vehicle, come whatever my, my four property. Don't corners I'm, with your gun. I'm not in my. I'm not Don't, in your four you know, corners. You don't know whether I have a gun or not. I don't have to wear it to 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 uh, worry well, anybody. Just you just Nobody your four you corners and your four corners, and that's great. <laughs> we don't, we, we don't like get in trouble in your four corners because then if we if we inhale and we get caught, and yeah, we, you know we'll, we'll get in trouble with it. I like to have real soon. Don't be an issue. On marijuana, as long as you have marijuana, I don't have a problem with you having a gun. That's right. Exactly. Exactly. So go ahead and legalize it. That way, marijuana doesn't make you aggressive. But I know some mean drunks. Well, that's the ones I'm, I'm, mean, mean, I'm mean sober. <laughs> I know, I know, of some, I, I hate to say this, but I know of some mean I'm mean, mean drunk. sober. No, besides that one. But yeah. mean pot. That's not a mean drunk. Oh my mean God. pothead. While they're high? Yes. What? Uh, oh my goodness. Oh yeah. Hey. I've never. Uh, what? And that's the only uh, thing they're doing. They're not drinking also. They're not doing nope. other things either. Nope. He, he, there's uh, one gentleman right. who's a Vietnam vet. Please, please introduce me to this person that yeah, gets I'd high like and him. mean. Oh I have never. I like to know I don't know anybody. I don't owe a whole bunch of potheads. I, I, Once you get high, I ain't worried about that. All I'm looking for is some Cheetos, some marshmallows. <laughs> I have, I have. Uh, That's why a it's good for uh, chemotherapy right. and all that. I, I, have, I have a family member that, that used to have bits of, of anger <laughs> during that time. Uh, I also had a former landlord who, who uh, uh, was a Vietnam vet. Who uh, maybe there's more that that. No, he was down. actually well. He was actually pretty stable during the during the times that we talked. And only got that way when he smoked. I no, not never necessarily. Known that. But, he, but, he, but there were times when, when you he feel was. comfortable with him with the gun. If he had one, he had one. I wasn't going to I, I didn't ask you that. I said, do you feel comfortable with him? With the there are people I don't feel comfortable with driving vehicles, but that, that's beside the point. You know, we that's still well, allow people, we still give them license to let them drive <laughs> a vehicle, do we not? So that's the beside the point. Yes. With my brother, no. With my brother, no. I would, 
if I if I saw one I on him, I would I would no, feel but, uncomfortable. I'm going to end by saying this: If you really cared about children, you really cared about individual safety, then you would go. And, you would go and stand in for the abortion uh, abortion clinics and stop. You, you know, answer, all the babies from being killed. First question, Keep your hands off my guns. Still going back to babies. Yeah, because that's still still important to people. It's all about the children. Because that's what they say. Moms demand action. It's all about the children. You can't do that one until you define when life begins, and then you can have that. So now we want to talk about when life starts. Yeah. Well, you need to, because that's the law. Sure. It's the yeah. law is that no and the abor- law says no that abortions can, can be no abortions can be done. And the law says I can open carry my long gun, gun, my trimester. rifle, my shotgun too. That's the law. That's and that's because of reasonable abortion control passed this last legislature. You and know, the, and, and viability viability is it. Well, I was there. And the law says Vi- I can open carry my long gun, rifle, or shotgun too, regardless of whether you like it or not. That's the and law. Look, it ain't got to threaten nobody with it. You say you'd run and shout five he, guys. He, he won't because he's responsible. I'm worried about his guy. <laughs> I'm probably responsible I'm, about all I'm that. I'm worried about his guy being Some, of, some of these guys that are oh, over carrying, I, I you're about talking about all, moms man. demand action, some of the guys that are carry, out there doing that are threatening these right. women. None, none of them have never the threatened anyone, and I've been oh, there right there they're with all them. They're angels, They have right? never threatened anyone. They're I've all been angels. Re- yes, they are. They're oh, never, come on. I get more violence. I've gotten more threats from mom so demand right. action than anyone in this state. And I've been doing this for a long time. A, lot of the, a, lot of the a long <laughs> time. Just because you got I get more threats. You a good guy. No, I get no, more threats. That's from all I'm saying is there have been. if you don't have a rifle, don't make you a good guy either. I get more threats from that side of the aisle. You I've get, never gotten threats from over one, here. One solution to bad people with guns. Only one. There's no others. What? There's what did you just say? I know what he's going to say. He's a good guy with a gun. I wasn't going to say oh, it. Oh, God. <laughs> There's no others. What's the other solution? Call the cops? Oh, give him a joint. <laughs> hey, that might work. I never thought about that way. No, yeah, but the gun might <laughs> it, it, it kills aggression right away. Boom, just like that. Shoot you, take the, joint. the vast majority of people in this country do not own guns. The people that own guns are, are I, 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 I don't have it. Next, guns. next time we come what. and it's going to be down there, I will have, I will get the statistics. Well, we're in, tra- I know what, we're in Travis County, and I teach the most concealed handgun classes out of any instructor in the entire state of Texas. I'm That's fantastic. I'm happy. There, I really am happy for state, you that your business is going well. The entire state of Texas, Seriously. right here in Austin, and we have mostly who? Liberals that live in Austin. I don't know. No, I don't know about uh, that, but. Oh, we haven't got a minute left. Yeah, we, uh, uh, yeah, we, we have to have a conversation about the liberal piece also. If you yes, that's right. Uh, you, uh, ever, uh, you really want to have a conversation. Let's, dis- let's, dis- let's really investigate uh, that. With well, a minute left, we're going to have to stop it here. And the conversation about Democrat and Republican <laughs> and re- liberal and conservative, that's really a conversation that needs to be happening. <laughs> well, that's we're going to try to have one of those one of these days. Unfortunately, we got the city election coming up. Only got so many shows. And I said to people, we try to get some candidates on here. Ten different districts. I know y'all can support getting candidates on here. And give as many of them as we can a chance to say something. We will not be here next week, of course. And I think in June we got two or three shows. Uh, with 10, 10 districts, we're going to almost be, have to do nothing but until November because we just don't have that You ought to have shows. debates on here. Oh, yeah, we're going to have oh, we tried Dis- already. Oh, District no, 3, I think, has nine. Yeah, yeah, District, uh, District 4 has about, about two. Thank you, David. Thank you, Richard. Thank she you, talk, We would like to come on and do this again. <laughs> and uh, maybe we can all go shooting sometime together. And smoke weed afterwards. And smoke weed afterwards. <laughs> 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 oh, I love it. Hey, he's got the, uh, I'm ready. Four, 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 four seconds. Take a bye, everybody. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. <laughs> bye, bye <yeah. laughs>